I'd like to welcome everybody here today for the uh, House Public Safety Homeland Security meeting. We're here today to uh, carry on the process uh, House Bill 875. Wayne Selling. Good afternoon. My name is Wayne Sealing. Um, thanks for giving me the opportunity to speak about House Bill 875 today. Um, now you're going to hear from a guy that carries a gun. I support this bill because it takes great steps toward restoring our Second Amendment in Georgia. Last year I was able to speak about uh, House Bill 512, um, but this year we have an even better bill that's been introduced and that the citizens of Georgia are in dire need of. Um, with the passage of this bill into law, Georgia weapons license holders will be able to defend themselves and their loved ones in more locations. Additionally, uh, private property rights will be restored to places of worship as well as bars. This is a needed change since both are entitled to the same rights as any other pro private property owner. Bartenders and designated drivers will no longer be in violation of the law for carrying firearms to defend themselves. Uh, we can look at the state of Utah as an example of a gun-friendly state. In Utah, it is legal to carry a firearm into places of worship, into bars, and on a public college campuses. The violent crime rate in Georgia is 373.2 per 100,000 people, according to the FBI's most recent reporting. Uh, in Utah, the violent crime rate is 195 per 100,000 people. We see almost double the violent crime as the state of Utah does. Um, the murder rate here in Georgia is almost double as Utah, um, and again, that's a significant difference. Um, Allowing licensed, uh, licensed uh, gun holders to carry into more locations will result in a safer state, lower crime, and will also work toward restoring our individual right to bear arms. Um, I'd like to say a quick word about campus carry, too. Uh, there are currently only 21 states that have an outright ban on campus carry, with Georgia being one of them. Uh, we've fallen behind the curve and need to update our law to allow for campus carry. Although campus carry is not included in this bill per se, I think that it is important to note that limiting the fine to $100 and the protection from arrest for the offense of carrying a firearm on campus only applies to licensed holders um, you know, to receive the Georgia weapons license. There is a process, you, process that you have to go through that criminals simply just don't bother with. Um, criminals are going to carry on campus regardless of the law, um, unchecked. The only people that are concerned with the law are us law-abiding citizens and the people who obtain their DWLs, with weapons licenses. These people are adults and are accepted as such in our society. Uh, students face a very real threat while, while trying to become educated and better themselves. Campus security is an adequate, uh, plain and simple, just inadequate. I encourage you to watch the testimony of Amanda Collins. Um, she's from Nevada, and I, I really recommend you watch that. She speaks about how she was brutally assaulted within sight of the campus security office and could do nothing about it. Uh, she did not have her firearm on her even though she was a licensed holder um, because she was a law-abiding citizen trying to obey the law of her state. Um, and the fact of the matter is, violent crime on Georgia campuses is happening. Uh, as a recent example, on February 1st, just four days ago, uh, an armed robbery occurred on Georgia Tech's campus. Georgia Tech's own statistics show two rapes, six robberies, and three aggravated assaults in 2013 alone. Uh, and just remember, these are statistics from just one campus from one year alone. Um, this is not acceptable, and to allow for these crimes to occur unchecked is irresponsible to say the least. Reducing the crime from a misdemeanor charge to a non-arrestable $100 offense is a, is a small start for the students of our state, but it is a start. Uh, remember that these students will be 21 and up, have undergone a background check, and have successfully uh, received their weapons carry license. Um, people who do not hold a weapons license will still be subject to the same current law as it's written. Um, and there, there are many great changes coming with this bill. The bottom line is, though, that this bill is, is, is just right for the citizens of Georgia. Uh, the right thing may not always be the easy thing, but it's pretty clear in this case. Um, there are numerous infringements on the Second Amendment that will be removed and many freedoms that will be restored. I fully support this bill and ask that you do so as well. Um, and I also wanted to point out a quick thing about the, the polls that keep being brought up about the 72% or 74% of people that oppose um, what's, what's being proposed in this bill. Uh, polls, number one, 
this is not a straight democracy. This is a democratic republic, meaning that we have a constitution that we look to for a Second Amendment right. Number two, polls can be skewed. The way that the polls ask the questions can, can vary the results. Um, there was a separate poll for the similar, the exact same uh, question actually done in Gilmer County, and in that poll it was 90% in favor of uh, camp campus carry for students and 10% opposed. So you can't really just uh, arbitrarily believe polls like that. But uh, I guess that's it. Thank you for your time and the opportunity to speak. Thank you so much. Thank you.